have a great presence in this town, and this is our home. Okay? Yeah. Uh, my mother says, I'm like, I'm the last one left in my family that lives here. And everyone else moved down south, and my mom says I'm like a big oak tree with my roots right in the ground here. It's very hard to get me to leave town. That's a good. You know, I, I think I went 16 years without going on holidays. Mm -hmm. Until my son said, Dad, you got to at least go on holidays with me once before I turn 18. So <laughs> we went for a couple holidays. But, you know, um, this is my passion, which is dog sledding. Okay? This is my hobby. It's not my job. Mm -hmm. But it's soon going to be my job because I'm retiring from my job in August this summer. Good for you. So that's uh, I've been at, uh, I've been fixing airplanes for 38 years. Wow. Okay, so probably our airplane that we're going to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I look after all the airplanes that come through Churchill. But um, I want to be a full-time dog musher for the next 10 years. So mm -hmm. um, have a lot of fun with the dogs. And there's 39 of them out there. Ranging in the age from almost seven months all the way to 16 years old. Wow. Okay, so this is my dog family. Mm -hmm. you know, at certain times of the year, my wife calls herself a dog widow. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, this is where I spend a lot of my time. If the grandkids and everybody want to come and see me, then they come out here and have a wiener roof. Mm -hmm. Okay? But, uh, you know, there's 39 superstar dogs out there. Like, you'll look at those dogs, and a lot of people always ask me, and they go, but what kind of dogs are those? I haven't seen those kind of... What, what kind of huskies are they? Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that when you watch Walt Disney and dog sledding <laughs> movies, they got those fluffy, uh, pretty Siberians or Malmutes on there. Okay, my dogs are just called Northern Huskies. They're a mixture of dogs. Okay, so when we go on that race, yeah. it's the kind of a race that you don't see anymore nowadays in the dog sledding world. It's a self-sufficient race. You know, on the Iditarod, they go 50 miles and they get a new drop bag with all their goodies to put in their sleigh. Well, this is 220 miles and no drop bags. Oh, you got to wow. take all your stuff from the start to the finish of the race. Here you go, buddy. How you doing? <laughs> He's standing up, big guy, big guy, all right, all right, all right, he's the big one here, yes he is, you're the big one boy, you're the big one, you're the big one here, oops, sorry, bumped into somebody there. Who are you seeing? Isn't he beautiful? Oh, yeah. Look at those teeth. Oh man, they're pretty teeth. <laughs> there he is. He's liking that camera too. Yeah, look right in the lens there, buddy. <laughs> Hi boys, you look different. Oh, sorry. Sorry, hello boy. Oh, oh, he's right up on top there. All right, all right. Say hello. Welcome to the I Did a Mile. Well, you won't be able to hear too much, but... <laughs> Hello. I'll have to put a uh, sound thing in it later. There's a thing. And my goggles haven't fogged up yet. A little bit of fog, but they're supposed to be anti fog I had to take my glasses off, but I can still see pretty good. They're fogging up a little bit. Yeah. That's because. Yeah. So they'll be coming on through. It's on. Get some of the pups over there. Yeah, get the dog. 
Why? There's not too many of them over there now. You should get a gray jay. Watch for mushers. Here, um, let's do the, uh, the gray jay. It's Gatley right here, and here, okay. Look at the sign. I saw the mushers. Oh, no suds on the puppy. Coke, you get way up close. Let's go. 
go, guys. Come on. Here's our photo. How you doing there? Hey, doing there, boy? Here. How you doing? How you doing there, huh? Huh? How you doing? You all right there? You good there, boy? Huh? Huh? You good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to bite me. I'm not food. <laughs> Don't you? You just want to run to your house, don't you? You just want to run to your house. You're good. Did a good run there. Yep. Cute little guy. Little tiny, tiny little lead dogs. Hey, boys. How you doing? How you doing? You got a hole in the top there, huh? Yeah, don't you though? Hey, how you doing there? All right. How you doing there, huh? You doing all right? You doing okay? Yeah, you doing good there, huh? You doing okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're doing good. You're doing good there, buddy. How you doing? You like that glove, huh? It's not mine. You can chew it up. That's okay. That's okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Hey, bud. You're quiet one over there, huh? You quiet one. Oh, look at those eyes on that guy. All right, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Hi, boys. This is the big boy here, huh? This is the big boy. Oh, he can't chew me up here. No, 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 no. He's the big boy. Yeah. Yeah, he's the big boy up here. Oh, don't go to the bathroom on me. Hi. Hey boy, how you doing there, buddy? Yeah, yeah. There's a teepee. Yeah, Uh, you know? Yeah. Two big 
boys are 16 and Jedi is 50. Yeah. So, if they want to run, Oh, yes. But you take them around once, and then they can't get out of their house for three days. So we kind of just I, some of us can relate like to that. Yeah, so, so we kind of just nurture them and give them lots of uh, glucosamine and all kinds yeah. of stuff to help them out. Right? So as long as they're comfortable, they're you know they're going to be here. But I can definitely see how it could become an addiction. Oh, it is an addiction. Justin came here. The running the back team. He came here five years ago. He never owned a house dog. Never had a dog. Never was around dogs. And he wanted to find out what the sled dogging thing was about. So he showed up here on his way to Vancouver on a side trip. And he asked if he could volunteer at the kennel for a couple of weeks.